good evening everyone today we have new live stream so as you can see we are going to check fresh lease from miniard and it is quite unusual for this manufacturer because we are all used to see tanks and maybe figurines in 135 scale from this brand but this time we get an aircraft kit and as you can see it is very special type i would say it's avro 671 rota mk1 as you can see that's a rough version you can see the marking on the box art this is basically a new release from this manufacturer which should be already available for purchase and we are going to check it closer. Moreover, this is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all, we have this nice box art and box size is typical for this manufacturer. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Then if we turn it over here, you can see all the markings which are included into this kit. There are four of them as far as you can see. And then if we flip it over here, we have some information about the kit. So I would say it is quite typical stuff, so there is nothing surprising. And I hope mm, maybe you will find something interesting there. So let's open it. It's a top opening box. And here is what we have inside. So as you can see, there is plenty of space inside. Despite the box size, it is, uh, I mean, we have quite a lot of empty. Um, space and also we have assembly menu on the bottom as far as you can see nevertheless we are going to start with this stuff so this is a plastic set which is packed into one single plastic bag so it means this plastic bag is sealed i'm going to open it and we will take a closer look at all parts so just give me a second okay so here it is as far as you can see there are not that many screws, nevertheless it should be interesting to check them closer. Those accessories I will leave them for the uh, later. Now we are going to check first thing which is here are those plastic screws with propeller blades. And as far as you can see there are three of them, I don't see more. So let's zoom in a bit more. I think this way it will be easier to see this. So as you can see they are molded as one piece parts and molding quality seems to be fine. If I flip it over here you can see it also from the other side. Of course they don't have the weight effect so they are completely straight. They are not bent or slightly bent. Nevertheless I, as far as I can guess they should be placed on those thin attachment points so be ready for this stuff. Maybe you will have to modify it a bit in order to get a more I would say thorough bond because otherwise it might be a bit tricky to have them in the place without breaking off. Next we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to a uh, mix of parts I would say. So as you can see first of all we have here one piece pilot seat and maybe also co-pilot. And then we have here those parts for the um, part which will be around the propeller engine. I'm just looking at the structure of this aircraft and trying to understand what will go where. Nevertheless, as you can see, molding quality is really good. We have also here various frames. Those will be used for the landing gear wheels as far as I can guess. And if we flip over this uh, plastic sprue here, you can see that um, everything looks fine. As far as I can see, uh, this Plastic is typical for this manufacturer, so there is no surprise in this. Maybe it is good, maybe it is bad. It depends on your experience with miniard plastic. Then we have first plastic sprue with fuselage half. As you can see, this one is molded together with tail segment. We have quite nice external detailing. We will check it a bit later. Then here we have the special frame which will hold the propeller. Also, we have some cockpit parts. Here we have some internal walls and the cowling parts. And note that inside we have also some detailing which will be featured in the cockpit. There are some guiding pins as well. They should help with alignment. And now I would like to zoom in a bit more so that you can see those parts in detail. Now you should be able to see them. And let's flip over this plastic sprue so that you can see external detailing of the fuselage half. As you can see, it is a good looking part. And I think it should be easy to glue the fuselage for this aircraft. As long as you are ready to work with those thin areas where you will have to sand as well. Okay. 
Next, we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to a uh, small propeller, as far as I can guess. Or maybe those are parts which will be holding the propeller, maybe. I mean, in this kit, we should consult the assembly manual, because otherwise it's not understandable what and where it should be installed. Nevertheless, uh, it looks really good. And here we have, by the way, parts for the landing gear system. And this part, as far as you can see, it should be the frame for the cockpit, I guess. Okay. Next, we have small frame with landing gear wheels. Those are molded like this. Well, at least those are plastic parts, not vinyl. But you will have to glue them out of two holes. Here you can see them from the other side. We, didn't, we have those raised edges. So they should help with alignment and overall molding quality seems to be fine. So I don't think that they will be problematic to build. Maybe if you have a chance to get the resin alternative for this, I would rather do this because I mean, that's a 135 scale, such upgrade will be instantly noticeable. So it's worth adding it if you have such a chance. And then we have the last gray plastic sprue. This one carries another fuselage half as you can guess also here we have the dashboards for both pilots we have also engine parts those ones i guess also used with engine maybe these are exhaust tubes maybe something else we will see this is a front propeller and also here we have some cooling parts note that fuselage detailing of course is the same but we don't have the tail segment here and if we flip it over here you can see that we have some modest detailing in the cockpit just like in the other half we saw several seconds before okay next as you remember we have various minor things so we have the decals sheet and we have also this small envelope vsp parts i'm going to open it and we will take a closer look at what is hidden here as far as you can see there is only one pe thread so here it is a lot of small parts i'm quite surprised that there are that many tiny pieces so be ready for this it won't be an easy task to install all those parts i mean we can say it straight but i hope it will have the significant influence on the uh, detailing of this aircraft then we have the decals sheet which is packed to be together with clear sprue so i'm going to open this plastic bag it is sealed plastic bag as you can see okay we move it over so first of all we have clear sprue here uh, this one of course carries parts for the uh, canopy for both pilots well that's not the canopy i would say that's a windscreen and still those parts were good and of course there are no masks included so you will have to get some aftermarket set otherwise you will have to cut them with your own hands and another bonus or i mean necessary thing to have here is the decals sheet so this one comes from cartograph and as you can see we have all necessary symbols here i don't see actually here we have the decals for the dials on instrument panel so basically it should be more or less detailed out of the box but i have no doubt that we will see the p thread as well released from edward because that's an interesting key and it should be interesting to detail if not i mean you can use for example from you can use PE parts from Typhoon maybe because it was more or less similar layout and just to remind you we have four marking options here and next we have assembly manual this one is a thin brochure in large format so let's zoom out a bit even more now you should be able to see it so here we have short list of the features for this kit I mean we all know what is here and as you can see hatches can be open or closed and then we have clear parts of course and highly detailed of course then here we have first marking option this one comes from the aircraft carrier 30s during 30s so it is painted in white color obviously here we have the parts map and also paint chart here next assembly starts with engine and as far as you can see it will be pretty much detailed note that pilot seats will be detailed with seat belts so they are included out of the box and as you remember these were unpainted seat belts so you can play with weathering or with painting techniques then we continue with cockpit assembly here again we use a lot of p parts for the control parts 
so be sure to use sharp tweezers those parts are really small then here we continue with fuselage halves and then you insert the cockpit inside next we have installation of those special stands for the propeller and then we close the cowlings area then here we install this propeller stand onto the fuselage next we continue with tail wings as far as you can see and here we also use the P parts for those actuators which are actually moving the parts then we install this um, propeller stand let's say into the place which will be over the first pilot the same can be said about the stands for the landing gear as you can see that's a quite complex structure so be sure to install it in the right alignment here by the way you can see the assembly process for the uh, landing gear wheel and then final steps include assembly of the propeller and then propeller is inserted into the special parts as you can see they're really tiny so i wonder how they will be holding place with help of those thin pins so if you have a chance to replace them with something more um, i would say reliable i would rather do this here you can see another training unit um, aircraft from 1939-1940s and then here we have two more marking options this this one comes from 1942 and this one comes from 1943-1944 so that's all for this video review i think kit is quite interesting so if you would like to build something unusual you might um, want to check it because 135 scale might look unusual but in reality it's almost the same as 132 nobody will be able to tell the difference let's say it straight and of course we have p parts included almost all necessary things come out of the box so model should be pretty much detailed and i will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below don't forget to write it there if you like this kit don't forget to press the like button and if you think i forgot about giveaway and i did not so we are going to do it like this right the um avro is my favorite aircraft in my in five seconds and this kit will be yours so one two three four five and nobody wrote the comment so once again thank you for joining thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video as usual Bye.